Hey, today we're going to be talking about our newest maca offering, our Black Maca Enhanced Blend. And I'm really excited about this one because I personally love maca and I've been taking it for years. And this blend really takes it to the next level. So we combine our super popular 5% macamide extract with almost five grams of real gelatinized Peruvian black maca. And that adds a source of glucosinolates, which converts to isothiocyanates through a process we'll talk about in a second. And those isothiocyanates produce a much more energizing effect, giving a much more well-rounded maca experience. There is a little bit of magic going on there and there's some time involved. So to showcase that, I'm actually going to mix them up for you right now. I just have a little bit of water, 400 milliliters of water. You can also mix it with fruit juice or coffee to kind of mask the flavor. I personally don't mask, mind the flavor that much. It has a nutty kind of caramelly flavor, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. So you could always spice it up a little bit with some fruit juice or something. Now, another important thing to mention is, as you can see, I just scooped it in here and it's kind of laying on top. And if I do this, it gets kind of chunky, like it kind of mixes in, but not perfectly. And that's because these powders are not actually totally water soluble. They're just water dispersible. So the whole trick is to get a nice even suspension. And in my opinion, the best way to do that is to shake it up. Look at how quick it goes. And now it's a perfect suspension. I would recommend giving it a couple more shakes, making sure everything gets hydrated so the myrosinase enzyme can work well. And that's what we're going to talk about on a nice walk through this beautiful area. So come on with. So as you may have gathered, maca contains two very distinct sets of compounds. One of those compounds are the macamides. These are fatty acid amides and they interact with the endocannabinoid system. They're nice and relaxing, mood boosting, libido enhancing, and it has some pain effects, but they are not that energizing. Now to get those energizing effects built in here, we want those glucosinolates and specifically we want those glucosinolates to transform into isothiocyanates. And for that to happen, we need myrosinase. But there's a problem with that. So when we take a gelatinized maca, if you take raw maca, by the way, it can be a, a bit upsetting to your stomach because of some of the starches in there. So we want to cook it. That's also how it's traditionally used. They cook the maca into a bit of a porridge. And with powders, we do the same process. This is called gelatinization. You basically cook the maca at a very high temperature, briefly and that gelatinizes those starches and makes it much more easy to digest and that's something pretty much everyone has to do for maca powders the problem with this is that the myrosinase enzyme that's in all brassicas maca also being a brassica is heat sensitive so when we gelatinize the maca it just starts to break down the myrosinase and then not a very efficient conversion of the glucosinolates to isothiocyanates is happening. And that really impacts the overall power of maca. And we've heard many times over that raw maca has a more energizing effect. And that's probably because it contains myrosinase. Now to get around this, we put in horseradish and horseradish contains a very special form of myrosinase. And that myrosinase seems to be really efficient for converting glucosinolates to isocyanides. This is something we discovered in a lab because we've been doing a lot of research on the conversion of glucosinolates like glucoraphanin to form sulforaphane. But that process works for other glucosinolates Maca is full of glucosinolates, but we need to convert those to isothiocyanates. So putting in that horseradish myrosinase really changes things. Now, the reason why I said it takes a while is because myrosinase, it's a time-based thing. There's actual physical conversion going on that takes time. Now, you might be asking yourself, can't I just mix it up, drink it, and that conversion happens in my stomach? Somewhat, but we've discovered in our lab that myrosinase is actually not that efficient at low pH levels, as are found in your stomach. It's much more efficient at neutral pH 
like is found in water. So when you add a scoop of the black maca enhanced blend to water, you let it stand for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that, you'll actually notice a bit of a change. It gets a little bit more pungent, a little bit sharper, and we found that if you let it stand, the effects are a little bit more energizing, a little bit stronger, a bit more uplifting. And that's what we really like about maca, and that's why we really designed this blend. So we're gonna let this stand for just a little bit longer, All right, I'm not actually going to wait 10 minutes. We're on a bit of a time crunch here, so I'm just gonna drink it now. There's not that much pungency yet. It's kind of sweet. It's a little bit nutty. It's a little bit funky. I just recommend you slam it. See, no grimacing face. <clears throat> it's really not that bad. It's, it's a neutral flavor, but you can mask it if you want. Now, one of the reasons we're out here in this beautiful nature area is because this is an area that I like to go hiking in, running around. We often come here with family and run up the dunes and have fun with the kids. And that requires quite a bit of endurance. Maca is very famous because it can enhance your endurance. And because it can enhance your endurance, it makes being out in nature much more fun, in my opinion. And one of the reasons maca actually got so popular is because in Peru, at high elevations, the indigenous people consume maca because maca helps them with their overall stamina at high altitude. It also helps them with libido and fertility, and those effects applied to this day of course the locals in peru and the andes they still use it and now it's all over the world and a lot of us are using it for athletic purposes and i have to say i've been drinking this daily for a few weeks and my endurance is up we've been going for much longer bike rides much longer hikes and my energy is just up and my energy during the day is also up and that's definitely different from our earlier maca extract which really focused on that endocannabinoid effect because of the maca mites now the nice thing with the black maca enhanced blend is that it actually contains a little bit more maca mites than our normal 5% maca mite extract to 200 milligrams capsules deliver. And because of that, it still has that nice endocannabinoid relaxing, mood boosting, libido enhancing effect. But now it becomes much more robust because of those energizing isothiocyanates that we're getting in there because of that myrosinase enzyme. And as far as I know, no one else is doing that. Uh, so unless you're getting raw maca, which I honestly wouldn't recommend because a lot of people do have gastrointestinal issues with it. This brings you as close as possible to raw maca with the comfort of gelatinized maca. And to me, that's been kind of a revelation because I'm really experiencing the full power of maca now. And I will also say most gelatinized black maca, including ours, really doesn't contain enough maca mites to really produce that nice endocannabinoid effect. And that's what I personally really like about maca. So we wanted that in there, which is why we put our maca mite extract in there. So long story short, I think if you're interested in maca, if you're interested in all of those effects that I just said, and you don't mind drinking a little beverage like this, this is the product for you. Now, one other thing that I do want to add, because we're consuming five grams of a vegetable here, you also have some nice prebiotic fibers. And those prebiotic fibers are also going to add to the endurance effects, to the mood effects. So all in all, this is a really nice one. And the way I personally use it is I mix a scoop of the black maca enhanced blend with a scoop of infinigreens. And that's how I start my morning together with some breakfast. The infinigreens keeps me full. The black maca keeps me energized 
energized so it's a great way to carry through into kind of the late afternoon without snacking without getting tired and just powering through your day exercising working on a project it's a really versatile product and i would definitely recommend you try it out if you're interested in maca see you later